Hey, this is Ken, and today we're looking at the software of the VM33 by Nearstream. Now, I did make a video talking about just the hardware on this all-in-one streaming camera, and you can check it out in one of these stickers above. But today, we're talking software, so let's get started. All right, now we have the app launched, and we are connected to the VM33 via Wi-Fi. And you can see right here, we have a live preview to show us the latency and also the picture on this camera. And as you can see, the latency really really isn't that bad. So right here on the bottom, you can see VM33, that's the name of our camera. We're going to click on this little cogwheel and that will bring up the image adjustments and other features. So we're gonna click on image adjustments, just to take a look at what we have inside. And here you'll find your autofocus, auto exposure, auto white balance, the HDR, brightness, contrast, you name it, it's all here. You can also flip the image or mirror the image if you so want to. So taking a look, you can see how fast that this camera reacts after we put the input. So if I were to put the brightness up, we're going to click it right there. You can see that it actually responds in less than about a second or so, which is really crucial because if you're ever at a place and like they'd say the photographer or videographer pops a light on and your image obviously takes a hit, you don't have to spend so much time trying to save your image. Instead, you could just make the adjustments here and you'll have a very small window of when the image went bad to where the image looks good again. So I really like the latency on this app so far. So let's dive back in. You can see we have our contrast settings, saturation, all that good stuff. We have our autofocus. And if you're wondering what these numbers are up here, this is actually our zoom. Now this thing can zoom in quite a lot. It has a mixture of optical zoom and also digital zoom. And if I go all the way to 40, which I don't think I uh, recommend uh, when you're downstairs wearing a fitted in a very hot basement, you can see that it actually responds very quickly. So I'm going to go back to one so we can see uh, my face and all that good stuff again. And if you notice, it also does a pretty good job at focusing as it pulls in and pulls out. So I give Nearstream a thumbs up when it comes to that. Going down the list, you can see mirror, flip, all that good stuff. And on this side, we have filters. Yes, there are some built in filters with the VM33 that I'm really glad to see if you're into that kind of stuff. Now I'm gonna to go to Vibrant just to see how much saturation and color it'll add to the image because some people really like colorful and poppy images. I am not one of those people, but if you are, it's here for you. You can also do black and white, which obviously is, you know, black and white, and it's gonna do that for you right there. And I'm gonna go back to linear because I want everything to be pretty much stock as we walk through this app. So that's the camera adjustments. We're gonna hit close and we're gonna go back to this device here. We're also gonna go to our audio settings. So if you notice, there is a built-in mic array on the VM33. There are eight MIMS right there on the top that can capture audio, but it also has a 3.5 millimeter jack on the back if you want to uh, add your own audio. So I can see we have a line in, USB audio in, built-in mic array, all that good stuff. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we are going to go to device settings. Here is you set up your network, it shows you your battery, your storage, which is really nice. You can format your SD. You can also check out your NDI settings because it does support NDI. Your camera input, 1080p, your SD record quality, which I have to the lowest it can be. And also, of course, you have the host mode, your action stuff, your power on, your light status, which you may want to change because when it's messing around, the light is going to blink, or if you're recording, it will be a solid red. You also have your reboot and your reset to factory default. So we're gonna close out of that. And also what's a really nice feature is up here on the bottom, well, up here on the bottom of this cog, you can click that and it'll show your storage because there is some internal storage on this camera. And it's really nice to know how much you have before you run out. All right, clicking now onto this again, we can go to remove if you want to remove this camera, but most importantly, we could also go up here also to, go turn up here, to turn on the audio. audio. You can also audio. see how to turn that off. Our audio monitoring, which I think is a really big deal because the last thing you want is for the audio to be peaking and you not know about it. So it's really nice that they actually have that built in. Now, if I were to go to line in, you could change that on the fly. If I wasn't already connected to it, it needs to actually see that Wait, it has a line. See Let's turn that off actually. 
So here on the top, you can see that we have our live and record. We're gonna click live and you can see we have all of the big names when it comes to streaming, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and also we have a custom RTMP if you want to host this straight to one of your own servers or a server that's not supported on this list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit close. We also have a record right here. If we hit record, it'll actually record to your phone if it doesn't sense an SD card, which is pretty awesome. And it shows your iPhone storage as well, which I think is a really, really neat and great feature. Also, you can change the quality here and you can go H.264, H.265 if you like. I tried this, it works really well. Go straight to your camera roll, you just have to give it access, which I think is another plus for the VM33 and Nearstream. Okay, look down here, we have our graphics if you want to add anything. We also have our audio output and input. We can have the levels here, we can adjust them on the fly if we'd like to. And if we go and hit this plus, this is where all the like the pro features happen. I'm going to hit plus. You can see we can add graphics, picture in picture and multi cam or multi view. Now, what's really great about the multi view is they could take this camera and several of them rather. So if you have two or three and set them up all around the presentation or all around the ball game, whatever you're recording, and you can actually use the multi cam feature to switch in between. So you can give your audience a more professional production elevated look. So that's really nice that you can do that inside the app. Now, again, as you notice, when it came to this app, it was actually very fairly easy to use. Everything was pretty streamlined and everything's organized nicely. There isn't a lot of guests when it comes to the software here. So I really think Nearstream did a good job when it come to, came to designing the software because a lot of the other ones that I've tested have been a bit clunky. Now I will say that I do appreciate the fact that you could use your phone, a tablet, things like that because touching on the screen is way better than having a separate device where you have to lug an additional thing over. I actually can use an iPad or whatever I like, throw it in the bag, I don't have to worry about it. And also the latency on this software when it comes to the camera operation is fairly short. And like I said, if you're in a pinch, if something goes wrong, if someone pops a light, if someone drops an audio, you can make those adjustments fairly quickly. So when it comes to the VM33, it's software, I think it's actually dynamite. I'll give it an, I like an 8.59 out of 10 because it really is nice that it works so quickly and so cleanly. Now, when it comes to the hardware, if you're interested in that video to see how the camera quality works, to see how the focus works, if you want to see how the audio works, but both on camera and if you connect them to the 3.5, there is another video on this channel where I go over those things. Just look through the videos and you will find it or I'll keep a link on the bottom in the description or that sticker from earlier from when I saw you in the intro. But again, VM33, the software is really great. I like that it's on your phone. I like, like the latency that is very, very minimal. And I like the design overall and also the really neat and intricate features that you can get down and dirty into the camera with using the software. So if you're interested, there is a link uh, for the VM33 in the description. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I can make a video or just respond quickly to you if you have any questions. I'm actually moving pretty fast because I'm in a hot basement and I have to shut off all the fans when I make these videos. So so it's very hot, I'm very bothered. And also I have all these de dehumidifiers and stuff in the background that I have to shut off as well. So I don't know what is growing in the time that it takes for me to record this. Anyway, not your problem. I'm so glad you stopped by. I actually have to stop recording on this because I don't want to fill up my phone, but I appreciate you stopping by. I am Ken, the content coach. Now go out and make something.